So when, when we want to master the darkness, when we want to activate the darkness inside of us, and this is a very good thing, right? We can activate it through two core channels. One of them is a feminine channel and the other one is a masculine channel. So the feminine channel, I use the code word Kali, right? Kali is an expression of the dark feminine. Kala will be an expression of the dark masculine. So sometimes, depending on where I am at and what is the energy that I need in my field, I will be singing to Kala, Kala Jaya, Kala, and activating this energy in my field. And sometimes I prefer connecting with something that is more the feminine source. So I will be singing to Kali, Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya. So there is lots of mystery and lots of beauty in activating these mantras because it brings a sense of grounding and profound energetic liberation in your field. Everything that you heard about darkness, you can probably wipe it away and start looking at darkness from a very different angle. Darkness is a very pure, absolute source of energy. Not tainted by judgment, not tainted, not tainted by shame, is neither good or bad. It is simply a quality of life, exactly in the same way as light. So light and darkness play together, making love, a little bit like in the yin and yang symbol. You know, the right balance of light and darkness brings perfect equilibrium in life. So this is the way we want to look at it. Instead of the model where we think that uh, light is fighting against darkness and to, for this battle to, to finish, one of them has to win. So it's like, you know, the very questioning, the very nature of existence and the very nature of life. So this is a model that I feel is outdated. Nowadays, I look at life, at light and darkness as two qualities simply making love with each other. And I access the darkness through Kala and through Kali. Those are the two main elements, but of course there is way, way more. In every single uh, mythological system, there is going to be uh, an access into the darkness, including in Tibetan Buddhism, in all the Hinduism. There, is a, there are many more deities that are labeled as dark deities. And then you have also in the you know, into the ancient Greek tradition in Egyptian mythology, for instance, with the, the power of Anubis, it's back to mastering the darkness or mastering the, the shadows as well. Okay, I'll see you soon for another video.